I'm David and this is my buddy Ace. One of the furry friends we'll meet as we explore pet-friendly adventures, accommodations, and eateries all over the USA. Pets Welcome Here is coming right up. Pets Welcome Here is brought to you by Walkabout Pet Exotic Protein Super Premium Dog Food and Holistic Health Extension Grain-Free Crunchy Treats for Large and Small Dogs. In this show, we explore a variety of four-legged friendly destinations from the famous Three Rivers of Pittsburgh, where history, nature, and good times combine to entertain pets and pet lovers alike, to an Upper Peninsula pet-friendly paradise in Mackinac Island, Michigan. And we begin this show by enjoying a little fun in the sun at pet-friendly St. Pete Clearwater, Florida. St. Pete Clearwater is well known for its overall pet-friendly vibe. So what's the first thing a furry visitor should do? Head to the beach, of course. Fort DeSoto Park at the southern tip of Pinellas County. One of the very few beaches in the area where you're allowed to have your dogs on the beach and in the water. There's a great dog park here as well, a really large dog park where your dogs can run loose and then after they've heated up a little bit, they can come on out and hop in the water. My dog is Maybe, M-A-E-B-Y. Tell me about Maybe. Maybe is a three-year-old yellow lab mutt who does not stay out of the water for the life of her. Yeah, this place is tailor-made for this Maybe. This is heaven on earth for her. Inspired by our splish-splashing new friends at the beach, we decided to meet a few more four-legged friends on a unique pet-friendly sunset cruise out to Shell Key. Shell Key Shuttle does a couple of things. We take people over to Shell Key Preserve, which is right behind us right now. We shuttle over several times a day. And then we offer sunset dolphin watching cruises a few nights a week, and those nighttime cruises are dog friendly. We leave the dock and we go by a nighttime rookery that's usually filled with lots of different seabirds. And there's certain times a year when there's a lot of nesting going on. And then we cruise through the intercoastal waterway, just kind of nice, sedate, slow cruise. And then the last 15 minutes of the cruise, we come out here and we watch the sun go down. All kinds of cute characters came aboard to soak in this classic St. Pete Beach sunset experience including my new Frenchie friends. These two girls are gorgeous. This is Fancy Nancy, and this is Hurricane Irma. This is pretty neat. We just love St. Petersburg. It's such a wonderful and tolerant city. I lived here for many years with no dogs, and I felt kind of shamed that I had to get a couple of dogs. There you so go. I chose French Bulldog. Karen, thank you so much. Irma, thanks for being my buddy. You were so good, Nancy. We bonded earlier, remember that? After a day of furry fun, it's time to check into a pet-friendly hotel. This iconic Gulfside Historic Hotel will serve as a home base for our sunshine getaway. Our founder, Thomas Rowe, uh, started up the, the Don in 1928. A lot of fanfare when the hotel first opened, and then unfortunately there was a stark stock market crash uh, in 1929. It was eventually kind of boarded up in the late 1960s. A committee was formed locally here to save the Don, and then William Bowman stepped in and purchased the Don and brought it back to the grandeur that you see today and reopened in November of 1973. So every pet checking in will receive our VIP pet amenity and you'll get the dog mat, the bowl, toys, treats, uh, a bandana. We also offer several outdoor dining options here over at Row Bar. And it looks like some guests can't wait for dinner. Speaking of which... The Row Bar is a real nice restaurant. As you can see out back, you got the beach and you got the sun and you got a little bit of everything in. We're under the nice pavilion. It's real neat to have the dogs and it's welcoming because a lot of people in Florida, they oft, often come out with their dogs and they don't have a place where they can bring them. And they get pretty neat Don Cesar bowls to drink out of. I bet you get a lot of good sunsets. Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and how about stocking up on doggy amenities? And Uncle Andy's, we have uh, pet souvenirs there, popcorn, chicken chews, etc., where you can buy and then sit outside with your pet to enjoy that. And even doggy ice cream. The next day, I met up again with my new friends Tony and Tribble a few miles north of St. Pete Beach to the pet friendly town of Dunedin, or as locals like to call it, Dog Eden. Everything is really dog friendly here. You've got a lot of great trails like the Pinellas Trail here. You've got great restaurants that are dog friendly where you can sit outside with your dog and they even have dog menus so you can order something specifically for, uh, for Tribble or whoever else. This is definitely dog eating. 
beautiful here, lots of walking trails. Who do we have here today? I've already met Ruby. Yes, we have Ruby Lou, and then we have Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar is about a year and a half old. He's a Staffordshire Terrier. He was paralyzed when I first got him. Um, I rescued him, and he did about two months of rehab and started walking again. Up, up, good job. Down, over. Downtown St. Pete is also a great place to explore with your pet. Enjoy the parks, patio dining, art scene, and overall pet-friendly vibe. After strolling downtown St. Pete, we had one more stop to finish our Gulfside exploration of this beautiful region. And this one is a pet lover's paradise and an absolute utopia for any dog. I am the owner, proprietor of this humble establishment and at the end of the day I feel like that all I am is a support staff. The dogs are the show without a doubt. The dogs are the show. People sit in this bar and don't get on their phone. Yes. They're engaged that they're engaged with the dogs or the other people. This place even teams up with another pet friendly business to make any pet's birthday a special one. I don't think I've ever had a birthday party like this. <laughs> Let's go through it. Well, first off, we have this beautiful cake right here. It's a potty cake. A what? A potty cake. That's what I thought you said. Yeah. Okay. A birthday boy. Birthday. Should we sing? Happy birthday to you. Oh, Happy oh. birthday to you. <laughs> it's your birthday, so you get all of it. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Hey, Timber. This town. This bar, we've been around Tribble all day, and yes. Tribble's had a smile. Yes. All day. Ah, Tribble's my new girl. That's a, <laughs> dogs will tell you if you're doing the right thing. They really will. And I feel like I'm doing the right thing, unfortunately. You are. You are. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to that. All right, let's go all play right. with the dogs. Yeah. From a beautiful dog beach and a dog Eden to a awesome, happening, pet-friendly dog bar, St. Pete Clearwater is definitely a place where pets are welcome. This pet tip is brought to you by Walkabout Pet Exotic Proteins. For pets with food sensitivities, skin issues, digestive problems, and allergies caused by proteins from chicken or beef. When you're on vacation, it's fun to try new foods, but what about your dog? Here's a pet tip. If you want to change your dog's food, do it at home. Make sure he likes it and that it's healthy for him. Some dogs suffer from food sensitivity, skin issues, digestive problems, and allergies caused by protein from foods like chicken and beef. If that's your dog and you want to try a new food, one alternative is to choose a food made with wholesome, exotic proteins so there's no reaction to chicken or beef. After you've fed it at home, bring it with you on vacation and both you and your dog can enjoy something new. This pet tip was brought to you by Walkabout Pet Exotic Proteins. For pets with food sensitivities, skin issues, digestive problems, and allergies caused by proteins from chicken and beef. From the beach, we venture north to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where rivers, pet-friendly trails, gorgeous parks, and a special dog named Ace all welcome our arrival. 180 miles of trails in and around the city. We have thousands of acres of green space, including Point State Park right here in downtown Pittsburgh. Abundance of festivals. There's so many experiences that people come to Pittsburgh for that you can't experience anywhere else. Pittsburgh is well known for its beautiful three rivers that hug the city's historic downtown streets and it's right on the water where our Pittsburgh pet adventures begin. Venture Outdoors, we offer a bevy of experiences here in the Southwest PA region, including hiking, biking, geocaching, poetry in the woods, and of course, paddling. The majority of all of our programming at Venture Outdoors, including paddling at Kayak Pittsburgh, is pet friendly. Just so people can get outside and enjoy everything that our region has to offer, including with their pets. Overall, this was an easy, refreshing paddle and a completely different way to see the city from a duck's eye view. So while Wheeler and Penny, who we met on our paddle, continued their playtime by the Allegheny, I was off to explore one of Pittsburgh's many beautiful pet-friendly parks. We have so many only in Pittsburgh experiences. We have 446 bridges, pet-friendly hotels and attractions and restaurants. We have 165 parks right in the city of Pittsburgh. We have 26 miles of trails that you could walk on, hike on with your pet, and over 12,000 acres of parks in Allegheny County. 
And it was here in the park where Tom introduced me to one of Pittsburgh's most popular pups. This may be one of the most famous pets from Pittsburgh. That is true, especially for him now. This is Ace, the Pittsburgh Adventure Dog, <laughs> and he is helping us promote Pittsburgh as a pet-friendly city. He wants to share all of his adventures with the other pets in the country, for sure. Ace then guided me across the Yellow Bridge Road to the trails and beautiful overlooks of Mount Washington. Ace the Pittsburgh Adventure Dog deserved a little treat after our adventure through the trails. Oh, that's such a good boy. And I was ready for one too. Ace took me right down the road to a neighborhood hotspot so we could both quench our appetite in a serious way. There are so many great dining options that are pet friendly all over Pittsburgh. And Ace here helped me out and chose one right on Mount Washington <laughs> with so many exciting options. And good news, Ace, I got an exotic option for you. A friendly tableside neighbor saw how much fun Ace and I were having. So of course, we let him join in our feeding festivities. From the main course to desserts. And this journey takes us to a cute, pet-friendly bakery in the heart of an eclectic Pittsburgh neighborhood known as The Strip. It's like the old part of the Pittsburgh. And you can walk straight down here and have all kind of different foods. The Millennium and all the people that the, the Strip's building up, they have their dogs. So they walk all their dogs and everything down here. So it's great. So when they come in here, they get a dog treat, something to eat for themselves. Right. It's good to know what is in your treat. Yes. You know, and your treat and your dog's treat. And everything's labeled so they know exactly what they're getting. They're all made from scratch. Oh, Penny. Yeah. I'll oh, yeah. The cow. From fabulous food and tasty sweet treats to some frothy beers. And Pittsburgh's pet friendly breweries seem to be all over the city. And lucky for us, this one was definitely a four legged hotspot. We legitimately went from brewing a 10 gallon batch of homebrew one day to brewing 465 gallon, 15 barrel batch the next day. We wanted to establish a place where you could bring your dog, you could bring your family, you could have a good beer, you can relax. We wanted to basically be like you were hanging out in your or your best friend's backyard. And when you have tasty, healthy treats at a place like this, you quickly become dog's best friend. So I decided to check out the talent and discover just what these pets of Pittsburgh would do for a treat. What will he do for me? Uh, you can do a sit. Look at that, already sitting. He comes back up to eat, I understand. Toby, I've heard you've been good. Can you sit? There you go, there you go. Toby, can you eat? Yes. Most How about, did you teach him that? He knows that one well. Yeah, yeah, he's a good eater. Toby, you've been so good. So have you over there. There you go, Mr. T. <laughs> Carmelo, nice to meet you. I'm David, and this is? Oh, no, I'm Zach. This is Carmelo. <laughs> <laughs> I did, Carmelo, you did nothing. I just gave you a treat. But you are balancing on a leg. I couldn't do that. That'd be very awkward. There's a Brewers Guild. Yeah. Here, tell me about that, that program and how it all works. We decided we wanted to make a brewery trail for the area. In the guide, you can actually see places that, whether they're dog friendly or not. So taking our new friend's advice, we journey to another Pittsburgh neighborhood brewery with a completely different feel. And here, they don't cook food, so the pups, including my new friend Bingo, can stroll on in. Dogs are perfectly fine to be brought in here. So we are friendly dog friendly. Oh, friendly dog friendly, I yes. like that. And what's neat, we were over at Grist House, completely different vibe. Pets are welcome at both of these right. places. It's really neat how you all kind of support each other. The enthusiasm with craft beer is not only the products, but to try different places. Filled up on tasty food, tasty treats for my four-legged friends, and a refreshing drink for myself, it was time to meet back up with Ace and call it a night. And this downtown hotel offers the perfect combination of luxury and pet-friendly amenities. We are very pet-friendly. We've hosted uh, dogs, cats, and birds. We strive to give great service and, and create Fairmont moments for all of our guests that walk through our doors. We have fresh made treats here. Our pastry chef makes custom dog biscuits and they get their own uh, wonderful house made amenity. So we have our Fairmont and deluxe rooms that are very spacious and, and luxurious and pets are definitely allowed in there. We have 20 suites available as well. So those range from one bedroom suites. We have three grand luxury suites and one presidential suite. So good night, pet friendly Pittsburgh. I think Ace and I will both rest well this evening ready to take on a few more adventures that are only found in Pittsburgh.
This pet tip is brought to you by Health Extension. All the ingredients for a healthy life. Share the love with Health Extension. If your dog doesn't mind you at home, what makes you think he'll listen to you on vacation? Many animal behaviorists will teach you to reward your dog for good behavior with a healthy treat. So here's a pet tip. Start rewarding good behavior at home and keep it up on vacation. There are many healthy treats available, but this one is made with organically raised chicken or free range buffalo and has a hearty crunch. If your dog sits at check-in, give her a treat. To distract him on the trail, give him a treat. And if he's eyeing someone else's dinner, give him a treat. At just a few calories each, you can share the love, guilt-free, and everyone has a great time on vacation. This pet tip was brought to you by Health Extension. All the ingredients for a healthy life. Share the love with Health Extension. We now journey north to Michigan's Great Lakes region to a unique and charming pet-friendly island that truly takes you back in time. Horses and bikes are the chosen mode of transportation and your feet, of course, be it two legs or four. Other than the fire department, pet-friendly Mackinac Island, Michigan has no cars and it's been this way for over a century. The only way to the island is by boat or plane and lucky for us, a pet-friendly ferry boat departs from two mainland destinations every 30 minutes. So off we went with our new friend Millie to explore this amazing destination. Millie and I took the shuttle to a lakeside resort destination that's been creating Mackinac Island memories for families and their pets for years on end. We're located on the sunrise side of the island, the east side of Mackinac Island, 18 acres, perfectly situated on the lake. Why y'all decided this would be a great pet friendly destination? Because when people travel with their families, and this is a family destination, their pets are part of their family. So traveling with your dog is really important, and we're the best place to bring your dog on the island. At Mission Point and on the island, we are a very animal friendly destination. We welcome them wholeheartedly. But just remember, we do have horses here, and so the rules that that we have for etiquette with dogs, we ask you to follow them and be responsible. Millie has been here many times before and wanted to introduce me to the most famous face on the resort. Always friendly and greeting families along with his pet parent Pat, Nick the dog has truly become a part of the experience. It's Nick. All right, come on. Kind of an icon here. He is. He's been with us six years. We got him because of the goose issue we have on the front lawn. And I don't see any goose poop. There's the very little. Uh, it's a big lawn, too. It's a big lawn. It's a beautiful lawn, and we like to keep it nice and clean for our guest. Kids love Nick. I see kids walking around with Nick pillows. Oh, yeah. I found this. There are <laughs> Nick puppets around Mission Aren't Point. Aren't they amazing? Nick, you know, you know you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, there we go, Nick. Yes. Oh, the tongue's out. Look at that. <laughs> Nick took time out of his duties to show us the resort's pet-friendly guest rooms, including their pooch at the point package. And every dog gets an ample-sized pet bed. And a bowl with Nick on it. How about that? Little doggy bags with, of course, Nick. And treats that Nick or your dog might like too. Nick, did you have anything to do with this? But duty calls and soon Nick was back on the clock. So Millie and I took in a much anticipated meal right on the patio at one of two pet friendly dining options at the resort. After filling up and recharging, we checked out the many pet-friendly shops in town. They're all well labeled with a sticker near the front door. And this restaurant was in a great location right by the ferry docks. Where bourbon and barbecue meat tacos and tequila. Right on the front patio here, we've got um, about six tables up there. We've got water for the dogs, anything else they need. And it was here in the heart of downtown that we began a unique adventure, an amazing carriage tour of the island a horse-drawn journey with a knowledgeable guide sharing the history of this island as you and your pet get to sit back and take in the perfect mixture of American history and beautiful natural landscapes overlooking Lake Huron. My furry companions on this carriage tour were Milo and Spencer, two friendly pups with friendly pet parents who enjoyed this entire experience just as I did. Well, we love the fact that there's no cars. The, the <laughs> fact that it was dog friendly, yeah. and there would be places we could take our dogs, then we didn't have to leave them for the day. We even got to meet a few friendly butterflies, another pet friendly experience here. When we return, we continue our exploration of Mackinac Island, Michigan, and its pet friendly state park. 
we have one more stop here in Mackinac Island that puts you and your pet on top of this fascinating destination. Fort Mackinac on the high grounds of Mackinac Island State Park. This is a, an original Revolutionary War era fort here in Michigan. The British started construction on this fort in 1780. You can see so much of the, the formation of our country by walking around through the grounds here in Mackinac Island, especially here at Fort Mackinac. The fort even has a pet-friendly restaurant overlooking parts of the island and Lake Huron. We love having our pets with us. We always keep bowls of water out for our pets that come in, and um, they're always welcome. And I've, I've got my two here with me today. And this is Dash. Dash. And this is Little Dog. Little Dog. Oh. Uh, you know, that's creative. Can you sit? Good boy. Nice, Dash. Can you shake? Give me your paw. Good boy. Can you lay down? Good boy. Sit up. All right. Yes. Now, this is the one. Be prepared. This is the one that's very exciting. Oh. Little Dog. Be little. Good boy. I have not seen that one. <laughs> that is unbelievable. How did you do that? So from Mackinac Island, Michigan, with beautiful views, rich history, and pet-friendly enjoyment all around, to the rivers, trails, and pet-pampered amenities of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and a sunset cruise, happening dog bar and beachside amenities all around Clearwater, St. Pete, Florida, you and your four-legged companions are all welcome here.